U.S.-China trade war. The dispute has been going on just short of two years and has been affecting the economies of both countries and the global market. But it has also begun to reach the lives of normal citizens. Let's take a closer look at the perspectives of everyday people. Turning on to the agriculture side of the trade war. Americans are losing on the agriculture side of the trade war. Most farmers are suffering from paying off their loans, and some of them have already filed for bankruptcy. So I hope that China and U.S. should reach a mutual agreement with each other as soon as, soon as possible. We can see many parallels between the Chinese Exclusion Act and today's modern immigration issues. Most of the rhetoric used to alienate the Chinese can be seen today, especially after Trump's 2016 presidential campaign. The claim that Chinese immorality was corrupting and ruining America, which can be presently seen when Trump openly stated, while speaking about Mexicans, they're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists. We can also look at the claim that the Chinese are stealing jobs, which Trump promoted this idea as well by stating, they're taking our jobs, they're taking our manufacturing jobs, they're taking our money, they're killing us, while specifically speaking about Mexican immigrants. One of the most shocking and outright examples of this are the detention centers where immigrants, including asylum seekers and legal immigrants, wait an average of more than four weeks to be released, though some have been held inside for years or even decades simply to wait to be told whether or not they'll be able to stay in the U.S. These detention centers are backed by the rhetoric that the detainees are foreign and not white Americans, therefore they pose a threat to public security. In addition to President Donald Trump banning certain tech, the American perspective of tech companies operating in China has also changed. The trade war's effects have even extended into the lives of everyday people, most notably with Asian Americans who have experienced a change in the ways others perceive and treat them, usually in a negative fashion. Uh, 中方做好了充分的准备。The American public is increasingly worried about the trade war's impacts. 63% of Americans think their president's trade policies are bad for the global economy. Tariffs haven't done much to dissuade consumer confidence, but Americans, especially in the manufacturing sectors, are feeling progressively more strained. Despite this unease, Republican leaders continue to label these policies a success. So the economy is doing very well by every measure. We're having probably the greatest economy that we've had anywhere, anytime in the history of our country. We're having a little squabble with China because we've been treated very unfairly. Most of the evidence used to support the tariffs is false. Democratic politicians, realizing the impacts of a long-term trade war, continue to voice their concerns. Very concerned that the president um, has not understood that tariffs need to be a short-term tool to get to a long-term policy. He seems to think the tariffs are the policy. Overall, American support of the trade war continues to wane, if it even existed in the first place. I think both the U.S. and China are seeing negative effects from the trade war uh, as there has been a decline in profit and trade for both countries. Uh, this is also causing an imbalance in the global scale. Therefore, I think it's important for them to come in agreement so we can avoid a global recession. Over the past year, um, my host family's um, private business has lost a lot of customers. Some of their suppliers have um, shut down factories. Um, so they've had to really kind of so somewhat scramble and also a loan issue of, you know, the, uh, the government, you know, being a little bit more strict. Um, so they had to pay back a loan they originally didn't have to pay back. And so they'd do that first before they could take another loan. So, you know, it's kind of affected them personally. They're still, right. you know, doing okay. Right. But, you know, their profit margins are way down. The fact that this trade war has stretched on for so long and looks like it will continue to stretch on for so long means that both countries will only continue to suffer. Trade wars should be short-term bargaining chips, not long-term policy. Um, there's some 
。呃，我认为中美贸易战不仅仅对中国和美国的经济有很大的影响，而且对国际的经济平衡也影响非常大。Uh, I actually、uh, follow a lot of、uh, teachers in China, like、uh -huh. English teachers.、Uh -huh. They've noticed a lot of their colleagues and friends moving out of China in general、really? over the past two years. Not just because of trade war. There's other、right. issues, you right. know, increased nationalism、right. um, and other things at hand. But you know, the trade war doesn't help,、right. um, especially for U.S. citizens. Right. So、um, there's you know been a you know these English teachers actually returning to the United States in a larger way than they have before. Wow. So that's. That's something that I think a lot of people don't think about. You know,、uh, it's not just affecting the economies and and consumers, but this is, you know, stretching into the lives of,、yeah. of everyday people. Is, so,、yeah. wow. Okay. It's, it's a lot larger than people think. You know,、yeah. it's not just economic. Yeah. It's also political. Right.、Um, so, and yeah, it's really a, a power struggle between two large countries. Oh, I think fighting a trade war. 呃，的结果一定会是两败俱伤，没有，没有肯定的赢家。你觉得中美贸易战会不会影响中国和美国的国际地位？呃，我认为中国和美国作为国际上的大国，贸易战不会对，呃，中国和美国的国际地位有很大的影响。Sometime in the next what, like ten, twelve years, China's economy is supposed to surpass that of the United States,、um, and I think the U.S. sees it as a very real threat. I think that the U.S.'s role on the global stage is kind of declining, in terms of its political and economic power, and China's,、uh, conversely, is rising. I... 嗯，我认为应该对美国不会造成太大的影响，因为美国是目前还是世界上最强大的国家。对中国可能会有一定的影响，因为中国的经济体系还不是特别的完善。Whenever I went to China first for a year,、mm -hmm. uh, I shipped a package over there, and it had a whole bunch of gifts from my host family.、Mm -hmm. And the package probably had almost a thousand dollars worth of stuff in it. And it went to China. It got to their house, and it stayed there, and it got there before I arrived. Whenever I went back、um, this August, actually, I sent another package with some,、uh, you know,、uh, vitamins and some other gifts that they wanted, and it was about six hundred dollars worth of.、Uh, mm -hmm. Stuff this time, and they actually got caught in customs. Okay. Well, and so,、uh, and we think it's because of the trade war.、Um, we had to go to customs, and they basically wouldn't give us the package. I don't think there's a winner or a loser. I think one may be winning more at like agriculture, but it may be losing at technology. I think it's going to affect both negatively because obviously their economies are going to go down because they both benefit off of each other. 其实中美贸易战对我们这些学生来说没有太大的影响，最主要的影响也就是汇率、呃、汇率的问题和本呃和在这些国国国外的物价问题。And this trade war has become less and less about economics. It's become more and more about politics. Right. And America is the one that's confronting China right now, but you know there will be a tipping point eventually. You know, if China continues to go the way it's going, that other countries will try to、um, wage in as well, and at that point, that will、um, change the power structure. So right now, it's really just these two powerful countries. But I think in the future, you know, if nationalism increases and the road that China is going keeps on going that way,、um, it'll be a, a larger power struggle between you know multiple countries. It won't just be the U.S. and China. Both countries are suffering from the trade war, so I think it's better they just like reach a mutual agreement for it. It's war, so it's definitely like you know having that. I think it's really unnecessary. You know, I I think I understand why the Trump administration decided to implement all of these tariffs on Chinese products and goods, but but I think that the U.S. is. Not really willing to reach a mutual fair agreement, and given you know the history, the last 200 years, China has dealt with so many unequal treaties. I don't think they're going to settle for anything less than an equal agreement to the trade war.